And demonstrations are raging across the world, calling for an immediate end to the Israel-Hamas war. People have taken to the streets against the killing of civilians, including children in Gaza. At least 4,000 people took part in a pro-Palestinian demonstration in Geneva. They marched peacefully through downtown Geneva and ended in front of the United Nations European headquarters. They also held a minute of silence for all those who have been killed in Gaza. Several thousand of pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched in the streets of Lisbon to demand a ceasefire in Gaza and the respect for the rights of the Palestinian people. While a giant Palestinian flag hovered in Spain's Barcelona, where hundreds of demonstrators shouted their support for the Palestinians trapped in Gaza. They condemned Israeli bombings of the territory. While well, there were similar demonstrations in the capital, Madrid as well, where demonstrators marched to the Israeli and the U.S. embassies. Furthermore, there were also demonstrations in several counties, pardon me, several countries in West Asia calling for a ceasefire. About 2,500 pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched in Germany's capital, Berlin. The demonstration was accompanied by the German police as well. A group of doctors joined the protest, holding banners, accusing Israel of committing war crimes by evacuating and bombing hospitals. The demonstrators demanded a free Palestine in chance as they walked through the streets, calling for Israel to stop the war on Gaza. Weil wir da gegen den Krieg und für Frieden demonstrieren wollen. Gegen den Kindermord, gegen die Waffen, die auf Gaza herabgelassen werden. Gegen den Volks Völkermord, gegen die Vertreibung, gegen die Vernichtung, gegen die unmenschlichen Zustände, die in Palästina passieren und gegen den Zustand in Deutschland. Gegen die Meinung, die Politik, die, 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 die Presse. Thousands of Hezbollah supporters rallied in Lebanon as the Iran-backed group continued to trade rocket and missile fire with Israel in areas near the border. Thousands marched in southern Lebanon just hours after Hezbollah said an Israeli airstrike had hit a building in an industrial area nearby. Several, several hundred pro-Palestinian demonstrators marched in London calling for an Israel-Hamas ceasefire. Demonstrators in East London waved Palestinian flags and placards as they marched in one of several protests held across the British capital. Dozens of demonstrators gathered in Washington, D.C., demanding a ceasefire in Gaza. The demonstrators met in front of Union Station, chanting slogans, carrying banners, and calling on the U.S. government to stop the economic, to stop their economic aid to Israel. U.S. President Joe Biden and his administration are under increasing pressure for their stance on the war. Palestinian flags and slogans of support for the Palestinian people dominated an anniversary march in Athens to mark a 1973 student uprising. 
The police estimated that at least 25,000 participants in the protest march, which usually ends at the U.S. Embassy, but this year, the demonstrators continued till the Israeli Embassy. Meanwhile, in the northern Greek city, brief clashes erupted where demonstrators fired petrol bombs and firecrackers at the riot police who responded with tear gas. In Taiwan, hundreds took to the streets of Taipei and marched towards the American Institute of Taiwan, the de facto U.S. Embassy there, to show their support for the people in Gaza. Meanwhile, in France, thousands of demonstrators marched in Paris in rain in support of Palestinians. The demonstrators held up umbrellas and Palestinian flags as they marched from Paris Place de la Republica. Some unfurled a long sheet of paper that contained a list of what they said were the names of children killed in the fighting. 